I could just, I guess, early thoughts on Ole Miss. Uh, they're eight and zero, excellent season so far under Chris Beard. Just what's the early scouting report of those guys? A good team. Uh, you can see they're coming together. You can see their culture starting to grow under Coach Beard. Uh, I think they're a team that very disciplined. I think they're efficient. You look at their numbers. Uh, they're a very efficient team, and that's on the offensive end and defensively. I think you know, like all of his teams. They really get after it. They contain you, keep you in front. And uh, they have two guys in the low post that are, are difference makers around the basket and Sharp and Cissé. Coach, two convincing wins over Lipscomb and Jacksonville. How do you plan to use that momentum and carry it into Ole Miss? Well, it's important for us to learn from every time that we step foot on the floor and uh, whether that's practicing game, the things that we did well in, that game, in those games that we have to continue to do and build on. And there are things that we have to continue to improve on. And so for us, it's about getting better every day. You know, we have a saying, we want to get better every practice, every game. And uh, those games, we did some good things, but, you know, we're not satisfied. We know we can get better. And if we get better, we can be a really good basketball team. What are some of those things that you may be pointing about getting better at? Uh, one is take care of the basketball. We have to continue to do a better job of, of valuing the basketball. Very, very important for us. We have to do a better job of, of defending, you know, guys on the perimeter. I think we, we do a good job, but we can be even better in that category as well. And then rebounding the basketball. You know, we have to rebound the basketball at a high level. Teams we're facing and we'll continue to face as we go forward. All physical, got great size, and we have to be able to box out and rebound the ball. Johnny, I think I asked you a couple of games ago about building that rotation. How, how have you been able to see some of these guys fit in better and maybe be able to, to use them in different uh, different areas that you, you guys need. You talked about your perimeter defense. How have you been able to find some of these guys for the rotation to be able to help that out? Well, what's going on is our guys are playing, they're playing hard, of course. The effort is there. What we want to do is just, I think, if they continue to learn our system. Like, you have 10 guys who have never been coached by us except for the last three or four months. And so they have habits of, you know, in great habits from where they may have been. But maybe we play a completely different style that they have to learn our system defensively. And so they're learning that. So their habits aren't there yet uh, because they just don't have the time to have the habits develop. But as we continue to work on them every day, we're diligent about you know, how we approach it. But the more they see it, the more they're going to get you know, comfortable in what they're doing. And I think we're just going to continue to become a better and better defensive team as we move forward. You've uh, mentioned you know, all the aspects of the team that you want to see them improve on. But what are, the, what are the stuff that you've seen that you like and you want them to keep building on, specifically for the Ole Miss game? Well, it starts really without even having the basketball. I think they're a really together group. And uh, anytime you're trying to build a culture, trying to build a winning culture, it starts with your guys being able to communicate with each, with each other and, and have a connection with each other. Like, I do think when we go out to play, our guys go out there and play for each other on the floor. And that's, that's very exciting because when you have a lot of new guys again, that's a rare quality because everyone's starting to find, trying to find out how they fit in and how they can impact. The good thing about this group is they've been very selfless, and uh, that I'll start with that. And then the things I've liked, I've liked our energy that we've played with for the most part. I think our energy and effort's been really good. I think that's something that uh, I've been proud of our guys. Every time they step on the floor, I know kind of how they're going to play. And so those will be things I think are good. And, uh, and then, like I said, I think our overall defense has been good. We're holding teams to under 40 percent. You know, I think we, so that's a good thing for us. But I know we can be better. Ole Miss has a trio of excellent guards, all averaging over 15 points a game. Just kind of what stands out about that matchup and what do you have to try to try to defend to keep those guys in check? Well, you know, you have to try to slow guys like that down. It's hard to just stop, you know, players at that level, you know, guys that can score the ball as well. You know, we want to do is follow our game plan, you know, try to slow those guys down. And, uh, you know, they are terrific, you know. You're talking about Morrell, who, you know, can shoot really, really shoot the ball. Mary, who's an excellent point guard. And Flanagan, who's a player who's just an all-around good player, perimeter or inside. So those are you know, tough covers. Our guys have to follow our game plan, work hard, and, and stay disciplined in what we're doing defensively. But uh, they, those guys are starting off t to a terrific start you know, at the beginning of the season. How important is it to win out the rest of the preseason? Uh, and we don't approach it that way. We just approach it one game at a time. It doesn't really, that's not something that, that, that stays on my mind. What we want to do is get better every game, every practice, as I mentioned before, and uh, take them as they come and just look at this game as a one-off. You know, nothing before it, nothing after it matters. Let's just concentrate on, you know, being our best against Ole Miss, and then we move forward from there. They had a player just get eligible. I know you're very familiar with C. Say. You faced him last year in the Bahamas at Oklahoma State. Just what kind of matchup challenge do you think he's going to be? 
Uh, I mean, terrific player. Just a, uh, he has an amazing defensive presence around the basket. He's long, he's active, uh, he blocks shots, he changes shots, changes into the floor really well. You know, really good at catching lobs. Uh, he's a terrific player. And so that's, that's a great, you know, piece that they added. And I think it helps their depth on the interior with Hen Sharp, Sharp 7-5. So I hadn't seen a player like him since Taco. So they have a, you know, an unbelievable front line of guys with experience and talent. Speaking about eligibility, Antoine Jones, a player, is, do you have any word on him possibly coming and playing? Well, he's, he's in the process right now. He's completing, up, completing, completing this first semester. He's eligible second semester. So as everything becomes complete, which it should be, you know, you know, as we get the word, you know, in the next day or so, it should be complete. If everything's complete, then he'll be eligible to go. If it's not complete, then, then he will not. But he's, uh, he's working hard. He's been terrific, you know, as far as, you know, pushing the other guys on our team and, and making practices very competitive with, with his skill set. And like I said, it will, you know, if everything goes, you know, well and, you know, on Sunday, you know, he could, he could have an opportunity to uh, be able to play for us. But like I said, we have to wait for the final word for those things because it's not done until, you know, academics and everyone, you know, says everything is done with, at the end of the semester and also with our compliance. Do, do Chris Beard teams have a trademark style of play? Or, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you've ever faced him before. I guess he's been at Texas Tech. And Tech. No, I've never faced yeah. him. Uh, I know he's a terrific coach. Uh, I can tell by how his team plays. Uh, just like I said, their level of discipline. You know, they, they, they're also their level of energy and effort when they're playing. You know, I think it's a heck of a reflection of him. Uh, he's done a great job in his career wherever he's been. And so uh, I know they're going to be a team that's going to be like I said, very disciplined and play very good defense. And offensively, I think they're going to be a team that really knows how to space the floor and play to their strengths. Is this kind of like a sort of like, like, a, like a preview of what you expect to see in January when Big 12 play starts? Definitely. You know, I think it's going to be very similar. Uh, and I hope that atmosphere is, is, uh, is, is, is the way we would like for it to be as well, to complement the type of you know, opponents we're going to face you know, going forward. And uh, that's going to be very important. But no, definitely. Uh, I see this as a opportunity for us to kind of see where we are at this stage. You know, this is still, you know, early December. Uh, we have a lot of room to grow, like all teams do. And uh, we're going to take it as an opportunity, continue to work, and, and see where we are and continue to grow. Like you said, early December, eight games in. How have you seen team chemistry improve over the past couple of weeks? Uh, I think our chemistry is getting better. Uh, I think I said it earlier in the year. The one thing about our guys, if they have a good feel for each other, and I think because they, they really get along well. And uh, like I said, they're very selfless. They want to see each other do well. And I think that's a big part of chemistry when you're on the court. And so those guys are all in a position where uh, they're learning each other's games a little bit more, where I like the ball, where you like it, you know, what you're doing defensively, what I'm doing defensively, so we can tie all our things together on both sides of the ball. Uh, you, see that, you see them working on that every day. And they are getting better, you know, bit by bit. They're getting better at it, and, and we want to continue to do that. And the only way we continue to do that is not to take it for granted, understand that every time we step foot on the practice floor that we have to be continuing to working on our overall chemistry, our continuity. Uh, you mentioned atmosphere earlier. Uh, I think earlier this week it was announced that your guys' uh, conference opening game against Kansas has sold out. What's your reaction to that? Uh, I don't really keep up with those things because that's too far away from me. But but it's exciting, you know, you know, to see that our that our that our fans and our community is going to turn out because I think that's very important. Because I can already promise you, everywhere we'll go play, their communities are going to turn out and they're going to give them unbelievable support. And uh, we've done that here too. We play games like that. You know, we've had great support. Our student sections have been great. Our, our, the communities come out and rallied around us. And we're going to need that. That's going to be part of what we're trying to build here in our culture is that we all understand that we're one and we're all in this thing together. I know you're so busy fixated on your own team and everything, but I know NetRank, you just came out of the Big 12 and the conference obviously is doing very well. BYU is one of those teams that's maybe had a surprise season. Have you had time to kind of look at any pockets of Big 12 play, any opinions on what you've seen maybe from some of those teams in the early part of the season? I have not. Right now, all I can do is, you know, right now, every time we play a game, I'm on to the next opponent and watching those teams as much as I can in preparation. But we already know. I mean, it's, 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 it's the best basketball conference in basketball right now. And uh, I think, like I said, the net rankings and all those things probably reflect that. I'm sure, and uh, but that's exciting. Like I said, I always say, where would you rather be? I know as a, as a competitor, as a coach, 
I'd rather be playing in those environments and playing against those caliber teams on a nightly basis. I just think it makes everyone better, you know, so that's going to be our approach. All set? Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Coach. You guys, welcome, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You guys. Thanks, guys.